don't know how to imagine the fish. If we're bragging, like, th if this is a, uh, a fish story, we make it as wide as possible. 33, right? 33. <laughs> well, if you wanted to make a fish story, here. There's 36. It's almost 36. So you 36. 30. Yeah, 36. Alright, so here we are. We're starting to mill this uh, white oak log down and using a pattern like you see on the screen here. Basically, I'm cutting three main sections out of there and then we'll be turning those on the end. Doing a little flipping and flopping to get mostly quarter sawn um, out of this piece. A little bit of rift sawn, I guess, but trying to go for the quarter sign more than anything really all right so here we're taking a couple slices off the top just to kind of square that off a bit and once we get those slices off then we're going to drop down here and take a bigger chunk off um, and set that aside eventually as you'll see here in a moment you can see here that the blade got stuck just before it exited the cut so we had to put a wedge in there and then we were able to fire up the sawmill again and get it to uh, complete the cut but that was kind of a surprise and you know you just have to be quick on the levers to make sure you're stopping things it, it really pinched it in there hard so here we go you know throwing it on the tractor bucket uh, getting it out of the way here All right, so here we're gonna drop the blade down a little bit further and take uh, another large chunk out of the metal, slice that off, set that aside again. So here we go, once again. And with a little grunting uh, work, because these chunks are getting mighty heavy, I tell you. they. You know, they're backbreakers at this point. White oak is heavy, let me tell you. so here we are we're putting this thing on end the bottom part of the log I guess if you will and basically once we get it up here on end I'm just gonna start taking slices off the top now we we did take a couple slices off where we had some bad material on this log it it did have a, a crack going into it and so we got rid of some bad material and you can see we take off a chunk and then I think we took off a, a bigger chunk that just ended up getting tossed aside in the you know the the firewood pile right <clears throat> but then from there once we got below that uh, it was all taken off you know one board after the other now here you can see we did a blade change I didn't think it was cutting as good as it showed so we put on a new blade and um so from here on out man it's just you know taking slice after slice after slice off of this thing All right, so here now you can see we're putting the middle chunk back on the mill. We're gonna set that thing up on end and clean off the top on the one side and then we'll take and chunk it right down the middle. I put my camera up actually above the mill and I was gonna you know, just watch it from there a little bit. It went through one slice and then the camera died for whatever reason so I lost 
a few shots and there was a few other shots that I lost in here too because the camera just pooped out on me but it you know that is what it is um, sometimes you get lost worrying about the camera and I'm more worried about actually milling the log than the camera so you guys know how that goes if you uh, if you do this okay so we're about done slicing off the last piece which was the top there and we got nothing left but sawdust at the end um, and uh, pretty nice <clears throat> load of wood when it all was said and done um, you know this log did have a bad spot in it but otherwise it was really some nice nice clean white oak and uh, pretty pleased with what we got but man what a mess in the shop I definitely need to do something about dust collection in the shop and uh, guarding on the mill just so that dust doesn't go everywhere there you can see it circled in red all right that's it friends thank you for watching again I'll see you around